So today we're going to have a look at some geometrical facts about regular polygons, more in particular about the angles. So first of all, we need to know what a regular polygon is. So it's a closed figure with many straight sides. A regular polygon also has all sides equal in length, so they're all the same size in length for all of their sides. <coughs> and all the interior angles are the same size. So it's not just enough to have all sides equal. We also have to have all inside angles the same size as well. Otherwise, it is not a regular polygon. So let's have a look at some examples. An equilateral triangle is a regular polygon. All three sides <coughs> excuse me, are the same length, but that's not enough. We need to have all three angles the same. And with a regular polygon, we know that all three angles are 60 degrees in that equilateral triangle. So let's have a look at a four-sided regular polygon. Well, that's known as a square. All four sides the same and all four angles equal and they all happen to be 90 degrees. This is not a regular polygon. Yes, all sides are equal, but we can see these opposite ones are the same and these opposite ones are the same, but the adjacent ones are not the same. So that is not a regular polygon. So let's get rid of that. So let's have a look at some more then. A regular pentagon. Pentagon meaning five sides. All five say sides are the same and all interior angles are all the same size. I could have one that a pentagon with all sides the same but it could be a convex pentagon where this vertex here comes inside. All sides would still be the same, but the interior angles would not be. And another one, a regular hexagon. Again, all sides the same in length and all interior angles the same. And we can go and do that for all the other ones, the heptagon, octagon, nonagon and decagon if we wanted to. But to work out the interior angles, I've put together a table to help us. This is something we've seen before from our last video about our polygons, our shapes, number of sides. Remember, an enagon is just one with n sides, a number of triangles, and our angle sum. Well, I don't really need the number of triangles to help me find my interior angle. The number of triangles is just there to help us find our angle sum. So we know that in an equilateral triangle, the three angles add up to 180 degrees, but all three of them, so three sides, there's also three angles, all three of them are the same. So if I just go 180 divided by three, that'll tell me the size of each interior angle. And so for an equilateral triangle, they're all 60 degrees as we saw a moment ago. So let's have a look at a quadrilateral. Well, we found out that that regular one was a square, and we already worked out that the four angles were 90 degrees because that's one of the properties of a square. But that's just 360 divided by the number of sides, which is the same as the number of angles. And we get that each one is 90 degrees. So nothing spectacular there. We can do the same type of thing with the rest of them. A pentagon, our angle sum divided by the number of sides or angles. And then we end up with each interior angle for a pentagon is 108 degrees. So if we go back to our diagram here with a regular pentagon, each one of these inside angles is now 108 degrees for that regular pentagon. So let's continue with our other shapes. Hexagon, 720 divided by 6. And that'll give us each interior angle 120 degrees. And we keep doing that with our heptagon. Angle sum divided by the number of angles and sides. Now, you'll notice I had to round this one off because it ends up being a long decimal that continues. So I rounded that off to one decimal place. So there's my approximately equal to sign. So for the octagon, 1080 divided by 8 is 135 degrees each interior angle. Our nonagon, 140 degrees each interior angle. And for our decagon, 1,440 divided by 10, 
and we divide by 10, just take off the zero, and we get 144 degrees. So if we want to work it out for any number of sides, we take our angle sum and divide it by the number of sides. So let's do that. Take our angle sum and divide it by the number of sides. And that will tell us the size of the interior angle for any regular polygon. So if I want to do it for the equilateral triangle, we know our answer should be 60. So number of sides is 3 minus 2. That's 1 times 180 is 180 degrees. Divide it by 3, which because it's 3 sides, 180 divided by 3 is 60 degrees. So it works there. So let's now move on to uh, our rule in general. So the size of each interior angle for a regular polygon with n number of sides, our interior angle is our angle sum divided by the number of sides. That's what we just worked out in that table just a moment ago. So let's look at an example. Find the size of, size of each interior angle of a regular dodecagon. 12-sided figure is a dodecagon. You don't need to remember that at this point. And that's the same as our 50 cent piece. So, write the rule. You hear me say that a lot. Write the rule, substituting what we know, or 12 sided figure, so number of sides is 12. And then we just do that on the calculator. Nothing special there, don't have to do anything in our head if we don't want to. Let's get it right, use our calculator, 150 degrees is the size of each interior angle for a 12-sided figure. Well, let's do something else with our regular polygons now. We can also have what we call an exterior angle. Remember, that's an angle on the outside, just like we did with our quadrilaterals in a few videos ago. So, remember, an exterior angle. We're not just talking about the outside here. All right, our exterior angle is when we produce or extend a side. So let's take this side here and let's extend it or produce it. There we go. You can see now that we have a straight angle here and a straight angle here and we've formed this angle between our shape, our figure, and this line that we've produced. So this angle in here is what we call our exterior angle. So, if I said this was 135 degrees, which it is, which we found a moment ago in our table, that an octagon has an interior angle of 135 degrees, because this is a straight angle, I can then say my exterior angle plus my interior angle must add up to 180 degrees. If I needed to give a reason to show my working and understanding, remember, that's supplementary angles, and I have shortened it, and we are allowed to shorten it. So supplementary angles, which are angles that add up to 180 degrees. Let's subtract 135 from both sides. So exterior angle will be 180 minus 35, 135 degrees, sorry. And we get our exterior angle is actually 45 degrees. So this angle here it ends up being 45 degrees. So our exterior angle is 180 degrees minus my interior angle, which is what we just did here. My exterior angle is 180 degrees minus what we already know. So just to write that all again, for a regular polygon, the exterior angle, and I've shortened it. I did a bit of algebra on the side. So for any regular polygon, there's a shortcut. I don't need to go and find the interior angle. I don't need to then subtract it from 180 degrees. For any regular polygon, the exterior angle is 360 degrees divided by the number of sides. So I don't have to go back and find this interior angle, unless I'm asked to do so, of course. If I just need to find the exterior angle, I just need to use this rule 360 degrees divided by the number of sides. All right, don't forget, ends the number of sides of that regular polygon. 
So, example two. Find the size of each exterior angle of a regular decagon. Decagons, ten sides, remember? Dec meaning ten. Just like decimals, all right, you're cutting things up into tenths. So, decagon, ten. December used to be the tenth month. Okay, write the rule again. Substituting what we know, the number of sides is 10. 360 divided by 10, that's pretty easy. Just cut the zeros off the end, and we get the exterior angle is 36 degrees. A lot easier than finding the interior angle of the decagon first by going 10 minus 2 is 8, 8 times 180, and we get our angle there, which is 1440. Um, so, um, and then divide by the number of sides and we get 144 degrees. That's our size of each interior angle. And then I'd have to do 180 minus 144 and get my 36. As you can see, this is a lot quicker and easier when I just want the exterior angle. So, that's some facts about regular polygons and their angles. And you should be able to get on with any of the work that's been set.